Welcome to this YouTube channel. In this video we are going to guide you about Dixie Furniture Company. So before starting this video like this video, and subscribe to our YouTube channel for future updates. History of the Dixie Furniture Company In Lexington, North Carolina the Dixie Furniture Company was founded in 1901. The company which eventually became Lexington Furniture Brands, was founded by Henry Link and others. Do you know if Dixie Furniture Company is still in operation? No the Lexington North Carolina based Dixie Furniture Company is no longer in operation. From 1901 through roughly 1986-1987 the firm manufactured furniture under the Dixie name. Lexington Furniture absorbed the Dixie brand after that period. However, the same name is used for a retail store in Charleston, South Carolina. Dixie Furniture Company is a company that manufactures furniture. If you look online for Dixie Furniture you will discover that it is now a retailer rather than a furniture factory. Is Dixie Furniture still produced? No, the Dixie name does not refer to a company that makes furniture. Dixie made mid-market furniture in America from 1901 through 1986-87. At its peak, the corporation employed thousands of employees and had most of its manufacturing plants in Lexington, North Carolina. Dixie Furniture Company with its 80-year manufacturing history, had a wide range of products to offer. Dixie created a number of different furniture lines. However, there are four Dixie styles that are still popular today. French Provincial Furniture by Dixie. Furniture in the Dixie Federal style, Dixie Tahiti Bamboo Furniture, Dixie is a brand of mid-century modern furniture. Dixie bedroom sets, living room sets, and accent pieces are all available in these well-known furniture styles. The old Dixie furniture catalogues featured a wide range of furniture at moderate prices. French Provincial Furniture by Dixie Dixie's French Provincial Furniture collection debuted in the 1950s, and continued to gain popularity until the 1980s. Dixie's French Provincial lines featured of course, bedroom sets, accent furniture and a variety of Dixie dining room sets. The majority of Dixie French Provincial furniture is made of wood. Factory paint finishes on the other hand became quite popular in the 1960s and 1970s. Of course serpentine front drawers brass elaborate hardware and gold accents were common on Dixie French provincial dresses. Dixie furniture like Drexel furniture took use of this feminine and decorative aesthetic. When French provincial furniture had its day in the spotlight, the light cream finishes with gold embellishments were a hit. People looked to second-hand Dixie furniture as a perfect method to mimic the appearance, when shabby chic fashions resurfaced in the 1990s. Dixie's French provincial furniture is made of what? The majority of Dixie's French provincial furniture is constructed of hardwoods and pressed wood with laminate tops. In the 1960s and 1970s new technologies of creating pressed wood provided durable and economical furniture making materials. As a result Dixie furniture is occasionally manufactured of pressed wood and laminates. Dixie French Provincial Furniture on the other hand, was frequently made composed of actual hardwood components and pieces. Used Dixie French Provincial Furniture is still popular today. Many people have of course, repainted Dixie French Provincial Furniture to refresh the style of 1960s Dixie Furniture. Tahiti Furniture by Dixie. Similarly Dixie experimented with a different kind of furniture from the 1950s to the 1970s. Bamboo-style decorations run along the corners and draw fronts of Dixie's Tahiti furniture. Of course this tropical design of furniture had its heyday particularly in southern households. Customers with sunrooms or Florida rooms who wanted to include a bit of the tropics into their decor loved the bamboo accents. Dixie Tahiti furniture also had palm tree designs and representations of ferns and other vegetation. Dixie's fun furnishings had a touch of playfulness about it to be honest. The Tahiti brand of Dixie furniture is still available today, generally in bright hues with a Hollywood Regency or Chinoiserie flair. Furniture in the Dixie Federal Style The rebirth of federal and classic styles in post-war America began in the 1940s. Obviously prominent furniture makers at the time were all promoting federal revival furniture, and Dixie was no exception. Furniture in the Dixie Federal Style Dixie furniture created a lovely mahogany bedroom furniture catalogue, of course mahogany veneers were frequently used over ashwood in these federal style pieces. The Dixie dresses also featured oval brass or brass style hardware. Similarly the Dixie business created a selection of federal style dining room furniture. 
used Dixie dining room sets with shield back chairs and mahogany double pedestal Duncan Fife style tables are available. Furniture made of Dixie mahogany. Mid-century modern Dixie furniture. While conventional forms such as federal type Dixie remained popular, in the 1950s and 1960s the business experimented with modern styles. Dixie of course created mid-century modern furniture with clean lines, simple features and peg legs MCM Dixie dresses, may also be devoid of hardware or feature very geometric aggressive handles. Value of Dixie Furniture Dixie was the firm I used. Like any other furniture brand the value of furniture might change. Obviously, the condition of a used piece of Dixie furniture can mean the difference between a few hundred bucks and a very low return. Dixie is alive and well today. Dixie's French provincial furniture is likely to be the most valuable. French provincial furniture has of course seen a renaissance in recent decades. Furthermore you might discover that mid-century modern Dixie furniture still has a high selling value. Dixie Furniture Company on the other hand is not regarded as a high-end furniture manufacturer. Dixie on the other hand ranks below Drexel and Henriden in terms of quality and prestige. So although a vintage Henriden dresser can fetch several thousand dollars at auction, a vintage Dixie dresser is more likely to fetch a few hundred dollars. This is due to the fact that many of Dixie's vintage dresses and accent pieces are made of pressed wood and laminates as previously stated. On the used furniture market solid wood dresses are usually more expensive. So while Dixie furniture is certainly not to be sniffed at, used Dixie furniture is unlikely to set you back an arm and a leg. What do you think about this video? Do let us know down in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video and want to hear from us again, be sure to hit that subscribe button before you go.